Okay, my name's Jason, I'm from the Charge Club at WA. Uh, this is a bit updated of my vans and picture frames and my Mopar house. Uh, my name is Jason Lover and I'm from the Charge Club at WA. I'll show you a bit of my collection. Now, this is my VG Pacer, you can see. This is I've taken everything off it so you guys can see it properly. Okay, you can see in it. Uh, gonna be a four speed back in it. You can see. It's a VG Pacer. 970, Hemi Orange. This is it. That's my uncle's Pacer over there. Um, uh, originally, it was a 245 three speed. Uh, I'm not sure, you, I think he might be putting the 265 and the 4 speed in there. This is a wagon I got from Harvey, Harvey Junction, down south. I'll just show you a little bit of it. There's not much on it, but I did get heat of parts for it. Um, it's still got the, you can see the Chrysler um, original push button was. as the speed of the tear me miles it's done. Uh, this is pretty much it. Still got the glass in it before I pull out. Got the wing on it. Um, that's another station where I've got uh, under the tarp. This is half a body for a violent U, Dodge U. Uh, I'm going to do up as a drifter U. I need the chassis out of it. So I'll put it up here so you can see. That's a part of the roof off of CM. Uh, this is my uncle's pacer here, you can see. You can see the rust down there. A bit of a dent there. Uh, so a bit of rust there. Paint killing it. These are the parts I got from Harvey Junction down south. But this is uh, my CM. I know you guys have seen it before. But yeah, uh, this is it now. I'm getting stuck into it now. I know it's only a couple days. Yeah, it's tomorrow is Christmas, so I can't work on it tomorrow. But Monday, I'll be starting on it, and I'll be getting a lot done uh, between Tuesday. And then I'll be working a couple of hours each night, so I don't go back to work till Wednesday. So I can get it ready for the cries on the morrow. These are the wheels on it. Um, this has got a little bit of rust just, just stubbing there. And see, I did cut some out, I showed you guys. Um, and a bit there. Um, I started taking some of the bolts out, you can see, to pull the guard off. I'm going to block off where the computer used to be. You see, so that's the back of my uncle's pacer. And that's my pacer over there. You can see, and there's some of the parts. All right. uh, this is a 78 model. This is when I went to the last year's Chrysler show. And I put a Chrysler on the Murray sticker, just to make it look better. Um, I open it. These are the seats, you can see. They're not a bad neck. Interior is not bad. Um, yeah, this is it. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, it's got to be ready by 12th of February, license and going, so I can take it to Chrysler's on the Murray. Um, yeah, this is it. I got this, Pacer. The wagon's going as soon as I take all the bits off it uh, for that another wagon over there. Um, but I'll just tell you a bit about my story. I had AJ from Camelling uh, a bit over a year ago. He um, said to me, I'll do your stage wagon for 10 grand. And I said, yeah, okay, that's all right. Um, I said, don't rip me off like uh, Leo did in Perth because I had a VG. He said, no, I won't do that. And... He said, oh, if you pay me 500 bucks a fortnight, I'll start working on it. He'd come down and give me a hand. I said, oh, yeah, no worries. I'll get a little bit cheaper. He said, yeah, probably about a thousand bucks cheaper. So, yeah, no worries. So I started helping him, and he just said, and then didn't want to do it. And his welding was crap and crap, and I don't like it. So I hope you guys on YouTube see it. Uh, he can never run another business again. Uh, he's in the black book. Uh, so... You guys, you've probably seen it on YouTube, but uh, you'll see a lot more of it soon. 
Um, but yeah, this is just some of the dips parts I got here. You can see. Um, yeah, uh, I've actually put a RT full of cap. It's going to be painted black there. I'm just cleaning the body up a bit, make it look a bit better before it goes to the pits. Um, this is the source for it. Let's just see. That's the hump for it and the brackets. Now, I'll take you inside. I'll show you a bit more. That's our layout out there. This is the kitchen. You can see there's the big Mopar. Can you see? There's another one, another one, another one. Uh, that's the Mopar light, you can see. This is just a lounge. I done today. Old model car. You can see. Some of the signs I done put up. Now, these are the ones I put up today. I don't know how good you can see because the corridor is a pretty dark place. See? You can see. You can see. Another one. 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 There's another one. Another one. Another one. Quite the signs I've got. You see? Yeah. You can see them. Looks like I've got them moving up slowly so you guys can try and see them. The best I can. These are the ones I've got so far. Um, this is my room. I'll put the tacker up there. The pace of seats on another wardrobe. I've got a better wardrobe in here. That's my little desk. I'm starting this, the dashboard for the sand to put in. There's the pace of model cars. There's some more model cars I've got there. You can see. Um, this is some of the pictures. That's the Hemi light I haven't got plugged in at the moment. There's some of the model cars I've got. Um, I'm take you back to the kitchen. Oh yeah, here's some of the model more models I've got there. Um, here's a couple more models I've got. That's when I went cry on the Murray. Here's a Dodge model. Another one, another one, another one. So I hope you enjoy this bit of collection I've got. That's a camera. Nice state. Horizon is on. No cry. Good charge. 300C. I don't know why. 